Hello designers, welcome back to the Planner 5D channel. I'm Virginia and in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to take your interior designs to the next level by using textures. Before we jump in, I have a quick holiday offer for you. From December 16th through the 31st, you can gift a certificate for a one month or one year premium subscription to your friends and family, or be like me and gift it to yourself. You deserve it. Just like I deserve a click on that like button. Anyway. Adding textures is a super simple way to personalize your designs, and all you have to do is upload a picture. Any textures that you upload are completely exclusive to your account, making your projects really unique. It's the perfect way to experiment and make sure that everything is the perfect fit in yours or your client's space. The process of adding textures is pretty similar across all platforms, so let's go ahead and start with the web version. All right, so I have my project open and I wanna update the color of these couches. So all I need to do is select the item I wanna add a new texture to and click on the roller icon. If the item you wanna change has multiple textures in it, just select the main texture you wanna change and then select the personal button on the top left. And from here, you'll be able to add your image. For this texture, I'm gonna turn off the seamless version because I don't need it for this one. What I love about Planner 5D is that you have the ability to customize the scale and rotation of your texture and you can also see how it'll look in different formats. If everything looks good, go ahead and select Upload Texture. All of your textures will be under the Personal tab, and you can always make adjustments to the texture scale and rotation if you ever need. If you're using iOS, click the Edit button on the item you wanna update. Next, go over to the Personal tab and click the plus icon. From there, you can select images from your camera roll. If everything looks good, go ahead and select the Upload button. For artwork, it's best to crop your image into a square before opening Planner 5D. This will just ensure that it's center within the frame. All right, for Android users, it's pretty much the same steps. Click on the tool icon and select the inside wall. Open up the current wall category and click the Personal button. From here, all you have to do is select your image and crop it to fit within the square template. Windows is pretty much the same as the web version, so we'll follow those same steps. Click on the item you want to update and then on the roller icon. Then head to the Personal tab and upload your image. Feel free to make any adjustments to the size and rotation of your texture. Mac OS doesn't currently support uploading images, however, you can use the textures you previously uploaded on any of the other platforms. You'll also still have the option to customize the texture size and rotation. And that's it! Super easy to upload textures, and as you can see, brings a lot of customization to your designs. Now I'd like to hear from you. What videos would you like to see on our channel in the future? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget about our special holiday offer for a gift certificate for your friends and family. And also check the link in the description for a link to a seven day free trial of the pro membership. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.